Member Berry. If I can. Um, I've received data from uh, the Mayor and Mayor's question. For the first time, getting the number of prosecutions for hit and run road crime offences. Um, and I've got a year's data there now to, to look at. I've compared it with the hit and run injury incidents for a year. And effectively, this is less than a third of these incidents coming to reach prosecution. So I wanted to ask, why is this rate of prosecution so low? These are, these are hit and runs where people are injured. Um, they're effectively violent crimes. Why is that prosecution rate so low? Well, um, I mentioned earlier that you know our, our rates of bringing people to justice, which overall I think we should improve, and in other areas of violent crime, sadly, it's not as high as I would like. We do concentrate, of course, on, on the most serious ones, and I think we have you find in the you know very serious collisions uh, and um, God forbid where there's been a fatality and somebody has made off. We have a higher uh, detection rate and a higher bringing people to justice rate. Um, we do pursue uh, the, um, all those cases. You know, they are investigated uh, where there is a line of inquiry. We don't ignore it. Um, but uh, we then obviously have to not just identify who the offender might be, but pin down who it actually was and find them and be able to prove uh, the, 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 uh, the case. And there's quite a lot of steps in that, Sean. But I do believe, I agree with you, we, we should be uh, achieving a higher rate than we currently are. Okay, we're out of time. Thank you. Thank you very much.